Hey everybody, heard 37 here, and I wanted to do a little tutorial, it's kind of like a little hack for Air Hauler 2 if you're doing the uh, hard uh, career mode. So like I'm doing the hard career mode, and so since I can't buy planes or anything, I'm kind of stuck with the uh, default 172. Now I have the A to A172, and I've uh, been able to now get this thing so when it loads up the default plane, it actually loads up the A to A172, which is just such a better plane and so uh so much more fun to fly so i'll show you how we do this go over to fsx down the sim objects airplanes the a to a c172 that is the a to a plane and here c172 that is the default the uh, default one so highlight the a to a172 hit control and then hit the c172 as well so that they're both highlighted right click and hit copy now go to somewhere else on your computer, wherever, and just right-click and paste them somewhere. This is just to back these two folders up, so if you screw something up, you can just paste them back over and you're right back to where you started. Also, we're going to need something from the 172 config file here in a second. So now go back over to uh, Airplanes, go to your A to A, click it, highlight it, Control A, or however you want to get all, select all of them. Right-click and hit Copy, and then go over to the default Cessna 172. Control A and delete it. Now right click and paste it so the A to A is, uh, stuff is pasted right here. Now I'm going to go over to this texture and I'm going to rename that uh, to texture.1. This is going to be 2 and this one's going to be 3. Now since that A to A has the uh, same textures and everything, the original ones, uh, there's actually a little bit of a problem. Uh, when FSX starts up, if there's two textures or that are the same, also in the config file that I'll show you, uh, it actually comes up and shows you a little error that there's, in the sim objects, there's two with the same name. So it throws you a little error, so we're going to have to rename that stuff, texture 1, 2, and 3. And we're also going to do that in the uh, config file as well. Now come to wherever you backed up the default Cessna 172. And we're going to go open up the config file. If you don't know how, just right-click it and go to Open With and uh, open up with a notepad. Now Flight Sim 0, you're here, you'll see title equals. Just highlight the Cessna Skyhawk 172 SP Paint 1 because since that's the one I'm using. And right click and hit copy and get out of that. Now go back over to where the default Cessna 172 was that you've copied the ATA over to and open up that config file. And Flight Sim 0 uh, title equals, just highlight that and hit Control V or right click it and uh, paste it in there. And since I'm, I'll have this fire up with texture 1, and I'll see with the title over here, you can't have the same titles because the uh, original ATA is, has the same titles. So I'm just going to put a 2 after this one and a 2 after that one. And texture equals, I'll just put 2 and 3 down here, 2 for that one and 3 for that one and save it. So it's going to fire up texture 1 if you do it this way. So that's the plane I'm going to have. And you can also have it the other ones. So there's, these are just the default three, one, uh, 3 that come with the ATA. And there's the third one. So if you want it uh, to fire up with, say, that one, that third one, uh, I think this was the bottom one originally. Um, just label this one texture 1 and then uh, you know, switch them around and then go to that config file and uh, label, uh, hit that as texture one. All right, and I just want to show you that it actually does work. So I'm just going to hit add hook. I'm not going to actually fly anywhere. I'm just going to put in an airport here and show you that it actually does fire up. All right, so I'll let it uh, fire up here and let you see that it actually does work. I'll put a little notation if I can in the video to show you to the end so you can see that the uh, plane does actually work. So be right back.
All right, everybody. There it is. It does, in fact, work. So now, follow the little tutorial, do this little hack, and uh, you can fly the A to A172 instead of having to deal with that uh, default plane. It's just such it's such a nicer plane, and it flies more realistic and everything. So I just love it. And, uh, yeah, so just go fly and have fun, and I'll see you guys on the next flight.